Hey everyone, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we are gonna be looking at Sigma Lithium Corporation. They actually have earnings on Monday morning. I uh, just wanted to get ahead of this one, and it's a lithium company, and so I'm just, I generally like looking at um, uh, metals and minings, precious metals and minings. And then I think lithium is uh, also used for electric vehicles. So I want to look for any gap, gaps on the way down because this one has been on a long-term downtrend. And I don't know if we're done going down. So looking for gaps on the way down. Um, I'm not really seeing, oh, right here. About 242. About 242. Okay. Uh, so questions that come to my head. Does this stock, should it be worth 1188? Uh, or should it be worth lower? Let's look at the bigger picture and uh, go from there. So this is a disaster of a chart. It went from, gosh, a dollar to $40. Now it's $11. And we can see clear, this is a clear downward, downward, money flow is going down, relative momentum is going down. Not profitable. Um, they got debt, but let's uh, let's run my calculation here and see what it could be. Um, so shares outstanding are going up. This is not good. Shares went from 66 million in 2018 to 104 million in 2022. Earnings per share is going down <laughs> drastically. Uh, I just want to make sure they have, okay, they have, this is in USD. Okay, so we have what we need here. Um, looking at the calculation. So uh, they do have over $1 billion market cap. So they have 1 billion, 300 million market cap. They make 96 million, 870,000, but they're losing 77 million, 980,000. So uh, not profitable. Um, let's see what we got down here in terms of cash. 28 million cash, that's the lowest they've had for years, it looks like, unfortunately, but let's include it. So plus 28 million, 210,000. All right, total long-term debt plus short-term debt. So let's do minus 93.8, I have to do longhand, 93,860,000 minus 21,990,000, yes. Okay, total assets 336 million, total liabilities 174 million, almost a two to one ratio, meaning assets they have twice the assets than they do liabilities, but almost. Um, okay, let's now go and check, uh, see what the stock price could be. We're gonna take this and divide it by 45 million, 230,000. So $27, I would say, and we that's the more aggressive, optimistic number. Um, but let's take this right here. And we're gonna divide it by 104,710,000. So $11.75 to $27 um, is the fair price. What are institutions doing? Are institutions dumping? I think that is gonna play a role. Whoops, what did I do? Okay, SGML. Okay. Let's see what institutions are doing. It looks like institutions own 27.79% of this company. That is the older data because Finviz does not update as much as this site. But institutions actually own 22%. So 
they decrease their shares. It looks like this graphic might be a little off in terms of timing, but let's look and see what we've got. A10 Investments has $47 million. Fitpart, $5.4 million. Where's Vanguard and Black? Vanguard only has 53,000 shares. Electron Capital has 2.2 million shares. Goldman Sachs is hedging their position, but they all are, are long about 494,000 shares. I want to see what BlackRock is doing. Where's BlackRock? Whenever there's a Vanguard, there's a BlackRock, generally. Uh, maybe they don't have. Oh, they're there. Uh, they have 106,000 shares. So a um, little bit of a mixed bag. I honestly would wait for this to come down. The trend is your friend until the end, and I don't think it's the end. Um, if we're looking at price targets for a positive earnings or a negative earnings, uh, yeah, this is already... It's already, we could say this is a bull, bearish flag. You have our flag pull, and then you have the flag going this way. Let's just see if I can. That's our flag pull. This is our flag. And you can extend it if you want. So, and it's already falling out of the flag. So this is just, where is their support? Let's see. Okay, next level of support honestly looks like $9.10. I think this is heading towards $9.10, and I say that because it looks like this has already fallen out of... This is a not a really good flag. So there's our flagpole, this is our flag, and it's fallen below it. So I think this goes to 910. Uh, if we're looking at the bullish side because they just discovered a lithium mine that they hadn't accounted for. Um, I think some good support there. Maybe 15. If this does reverse course aggressively maybe 15 on the low end if on the bear side i say nine dollars ten cents i know lithium it's probably it's going through cycles i think this one needs to chill i think this will be ready for our next big market melt up cycle which i think is going to be 2030 uh if you look back at all the um periods of panic that's one of my best videos if you want to go search for it um you know there was the dot-com bubble panic there was the great financial crisis uh 2007 2012 then the great lockdown about 10 years after that 2019 then the next one is uh 2030 so yeah little mania little mania bubble cycle so if you made it this far consider subscribing thank you so much for watching i hope you're doing well take care good luck if you're in this one